hello YouTube. Today, I'm at Stratford International. Now, Stratford International has never served an international train. Eurostar refuses to stop there. But South Eastern High Speed, Britain's only domestic high speed rail service, capable of speeds of up to 140 miles per hour, serves Stratford International on its way to and from St Pancras International. Now, it takes seven minutes to travel between Stratford International and St Pancras International, where you can change for Thames Link. The Elizabeth Line has opened at Stratford Domestic, just called Stratford. Now, that takes about 10 minutes to get to Farringdon, where you can change also for Thames Link. So, the question I want to ask today, are HS1 passenger services in London, for which you have to pay a premium, obsolete and useless? So today I'm going to be doing a race. We're going to start from the middle of Westfield Shopping Centre, between the two stations. Uh, we're going to run to, uh, we're going to go to Strat Stratford International. We're going to get a train to St Pancras International and then get on Thames Link southbound. The second I step on Thames Link, I stop the, uh, I stop, I stop the clock, right? The second I get off at Farringdon, I start the clock again, and then I stop the clock once I get off the Elizabeth Line and make my way back to the point inside Westfield Shopping Centre that we started. Which will be faster? Let's find out. We're at Apple Westfield. The clock has started. Let's go to Stratford International. Stratford International. Right, let's see how long we have to wait to get a train. The train is at 2.01, so about a six minute wait. This is the little curve that Eurostar used to take trains into the maintenance depot. And those are the running lights on either side. Now the great thing is, I play this exact route on Train Sim World, uh, St Pancras and then South Eastern High Speed. This exact TVM marker is in the game, AF064, they replicated it perfectly. The attention to detail in that game is amazing. The train's coming in now, it's expected to depart one minute late. Well, if it weren't late, it wouldn't be South Eastern, would it? Platform 2 of the 1401 South Eastern service to St Pancras International. Calling it St Pancras International only. This train has six coaches. So we're in tunnels into London. We don't do the full 140 miles per hour in the tunnel. We do about 110 most. But it's a seven minute journey to St Pancras, so South Eastern High Speed might still win. minutes in, we're at St Pancras, now just to change the Thames Link. It is Thames Link. Okay, next train is in five minutes. I'm going to stop the clock now because I'm on the southbound Thames Link platform and I'm not going to judge the high speed service based on the completely unrelated Thames Link timetable. So, the South Eastern high speed journey to the southbound Thames Link platform took 24 minutes. Now, just to see how long the journey from the southbound Thames Link platform at Farringdon back to Stratford Westfield via the Elizabeth line, how long will that take? Farringdon. Right, so as soon as I got off the train, I started the clock again. We've got 24 minutes to get back to where we started on the Elizabeth line. Elizabeth, right. Ah, yes. 
Here it is. Shenfield train approaching in three minutes. This is an Abingwood train, so no point getting on. Stratford baby, time to go back to Apple Store in Westfield. Apple Store, victory for the Elizabeth line. Now don't get me wrong, I love the South Eastern high speed service. It is the 395s, javelins they're called, amazing trains, right? And South Eastern high speed is very useful if you live out in say, Gravesend and your commute to, into London, into the city. I can see the use for the domestic services there and of course for Eurostar as well. However, today we have proven that it is one minute and 30 seconds quicker to use the Elizabeth line to get between Westfield, to get between the Westfield shopping centre and Thameslink services than it is to use High Speed One. So there you have it. The Elizabeth line has, to some extent, made intracity, so within London, high speed one services obsolete. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and I hope to see you again in the next one.